what it says, and I'm going to read it to you. Uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will lead your path straight. Uh, Trust in the Lord. Very clear in the first sentence. In fact, what the psalmist is saying, to cling to God. That's really what he's saying. It's to trust God means to cling to God. You know, uh, yesterday, uh, Pastor Lloyd shared with me that he's sensing, he's feeling the prayers that are coming in from the saints as people are praying for the family. He mentioned that he's being held up uh, through these prayers. And that's the the God that we have who loves us and cares for us. And he's giving them the power to to move forward and continue uh, during this time of loss. And, you know, clinging to the Lord is something that we all need to do is to trust God and the Pulley family is doing that uh, right now. They're putting their trust, they're clinging to the Lord. And I think that this verse, this these two verses, uh, to trust in the Lord with all of our heart is so important for us, especially during these times. You know, it was Corey Ten Boom who said this, and I quote, she says, never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. I love that because we are living in uncertain times right now. Uh, the future is bleak. We don't under we don't know what tomorrow brings, but we know God. Well, we know God knows the future, and we know God cares for us. We know God loves us. We know God is the God of all comfort. Uh, he's the God of peace, the God of love, and so God wants us to cling to Him, to trust Him, and and this is something that. Uh, we're to do every day. You know, we don't know what tomorrow brings. Uh, we, we, we don't know. Uh, but we have a God who's already in our tomorrow. And, and, and God himself is the one who encourages us to just put our trust in him, to trust in him and in, in just put our lives in his hands. And so the Proverbs here that says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, that's one thing that he wants us to do. He doesn't want us to lean on our own understanding. A lot of times we do that, don't we? We tend to kind of lean on what we know, what we try to understand. And sometimes we go, we, our heads will spin because we don't understand everything sometimes. And then the Lord says, don't lean on your own understanding. Trust me with all of your heart. You know, before this coronavirus, a lot of us were clinging on to other things. A lot of us were clinging on perhaps to your job. Uh, perhaps you were clinging on to things that, that were not healthy for you. And as we come into these times today, now we have no choice but to cling to God. A lot of things were stripped away from us, a lot of entertainment. And now we can cling to God. We can trust God. And this is a good thing that's happening for us because God wants us to, to trust him, to put our trust in him and not lean on our own understanding. I say that one of the hardest things in the Christian life and many things that are challenging to us is trusting God. It's so easy for us to trust in ourselves. It's so easy for us to trust in other people, perhaps in materialistic things. And for us to trust God is a challenge. But see, when we trust God, we're going to see how faithful God is to us and that God will take care of us. God will provide for us because God is a God of, of, of just, you know, a God who loves us and God who died for us on the cross. And so for us to understand that trusting God is, is a challenge and not always easy, but it's something that God encourages us to do. You know, as I mentioned, Pastor Lloyd and Karen and the family, they're, they're putting their trust in the Lord. They're clinging to God because if you think about it, there's no other place to go to turn to. And God is our hope. I remember the disciples said that when Jesus, uh, a a group of disciples were following Jesus and because of his words, his sayings were so difficult, they turned from him, they left him. And Jesus turned to his disciples and said, "Uh, do you guys also want to go away? And of course, Peter had the right answer. He said, Lord, to whom shall we go to? Uh, You have the words of eternal life. And isn't that true? And God has the words of eternal life. We want to turn to him. We don't want to turn away from him. We don't want to be a Jonah, obviously. We want to be a a person that trusts him and clings to him. And so the question I have for you is, are you trusting in God? Are you trusting in him? Are you clinging on to him? Or are you relying on your own understanding? Are you trying to figure things out yourself? And when we do that, we hit a wall. We're cornered because we are so limited in our understanding to things. And so it's very important for us to trust the Lord. And I wanted to encourage you on this uh, because I think it's important, especially in the times that we're living in right now, that we need to trust the Lord, trust him with all of our heart 
We have to, we, we cannot lean on our own understanding, but we need to acknowledge him in all of our, our, of our, of our ways and he will lead our path straight, the Bible says. And so God will keep us moving. I want to leave you with this Psalm, Psalm 46 verses two and three. I love this Psalm. You probably know this by heart. God is our refuge and strength. He is truly our helper in times of trouble. For this reason, we do not fear when the earth shakes, when the mountains tumble into the depths of the sea, when its waves crash and foam and the mountains shake before the surging sea. God is our refuge. I love that. No matter what happens, cataclysmic events, whether, you know, perhaps some of you probably lost your job, and I'm sorry for that, but God continues to be our refuge. And, and this is what I want to leave you with. And I think if Pastor Lloyd was here right now, he would be encouraging you to say, trust in the Lord, cling to God, make him your refuge. And this is something that I think we need to remember every single day, especially during these times. And even as we get out of these days, we need to continue to trust God. Because again, uh, we have an unknown future, but we can trust a known God, as Corey Ten Boom said. I want to give you some other updates as I move on to some things that are happening here at the church. Uh, I want to just remind you that this uh, Saturday night, uh, we're going to still do the Bridge Bible Talk. Uh, I will be on with Pastor Jay. We will be taking questions. We will be taking those. Uh, and so if you want to send those questions in, you can send them via email, bridgebible at bridgeradio.org, bridgebible at bridgeradio.org. Or you can call and leave your question, and we're going to play your question over the air live as uh, we meet on Saturday night at 6 p.m. That number is 732-479-0557. Again, it's 732-479-0557. If you write that number down, call in with those questions. And this weekend on Saturday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we're going to be answering those questions. And in fact, I even interviewed uh, Franklin Graham. And uh, so Franklin Graham will be giving us an update on the, um, the setup they have there in Central Park right now, helping uh, those with coronavirus. And uh, they have a, an incredible team. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, this Saturday night, 6 p.m., uh, we'll be answering your questions. And also, uh, you'll be hearing an uh, interview from Franklin Graham uh, giving us an update on what they're doing. And so again, uh, that's going to be Saturday night. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Good Friday and the Resurrection, uh, Friday, April 10th and Sunday, April 12th. So you want to keep those uh, in mind as well. That's Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. Uh, we'll be online, Facebook, and our website. And uh, Good Friday services will be at 6 p.m. Again, that's 6 p.m. And uh, we'll be having a, an online communion, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, you know, we can still take communion from home. Uh, just to have the elements in front of us. So online communion on Good Friday. So, uh, you know, please uh, prepare your own bread, your own juice, and uh, we're going to be partaking together as a family. And so that's going to be for the Good Friday service. Uh, there's going to be two Easter services, uh, just to give you a heads up on that, uh, 7.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. And so those are the two times that we're going to be, uh, you know, online and on the website, 7.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. as well. Uh, the National Day of Prayer is approaching, and it's going to be Thursday, March 7th. Uh, we're planning to meet uh, in the church, uh, obviously, uh, after the, the, obviously the, the COVID uh, uh, shutdown. Uh, but this may be one of the first time. And so pastors will be praying on Thanksgiving, grief, financial restoration. Uh, more information will be on the website, ccov.org, if you want to go there and check it out for Thursday, May 7th. Uh, other reminders that I want to give you is that uh, the pastoral offices will continue to be open regularly, uh, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, with a limited staff, uh, but all pastors are available for prayer, uh, if you need prayer as well. Uh, please continue to go to our website as well for the most current and update information. And um, if you know anyone who, who doesn't have online access or is unable to get on the ccob.org, uh, let us know. Uh, send us an email. Uh, send us an email and, and we'll try to help as much as we can. Uh, and also you can use the Share Your God Story link to inform us so that we can minister to them as well. And uh, you can submit your testimonies and all of that stuff. And so if you need prayer, 
just let us know. We can pray for you specifically. Uh, and there's a link on our webpage for that as well. And, and like I said, uh, Pastor Lloyd will be uh, you know, addressing uh, the church uh, Sunday uh, for about a 10 minute uh, message. And then Pastor Don McClure uh, will be pretty much sharing more of the message uh, that he has in, in, in his heart. And so that's going to be for this weekend, Palm Sunday. And so just want to just remind you, continue to pray for the Pulley family. Uh, it's a tough time and, uh, you know, they're clinging to the Lord. And so I would like to do is just to pray for them and then close in prayer during this time of our update. Again, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to let us know. But let's pray. Lord, uh, thank you for uh, this time as uh, we're, we're still lifting up our pastor and, and the family and and all the things that uh, need to take place from, from this point on. Uh, Lord, would you be with him? Would you please encourage him and uh, bring that comfort, Lord, that only you can bring uh, to their hearts as you are the God of all comfort. And so, Lord, we love you. We thank you. And uh, help us, Lord, to trust you, to trust you more. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching this update. God bless you. Stay safe.